welcome to Seniors Living in Paradise. Monster idiot. Hey, by the way, happy girl's day. Thank you. You see, she's still a girl. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. So, Batman. Yes. Again, I want to say thank you so very much. And you know, eating at Nori's, man, I tell you, the food is so mm, over here. And everybody should come on down because you always have new, new innovative things. Yeah. Unbelievable. Y you know, now, because we do this, yeah, yeah. anybody I see, you know what they tell me? Uh, yeah, yeah, That's all yeah, 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 yeah. That's all they say. I go, oh my God. All right. Okay, man, what are we going to do today? It's girls out. This is girls day. All you girls out there, it wasn't for you girls. You wouldn't be here. Yeah, we'll be real sad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's right. Yeah. It's Go a sad girls. thing, yeah. That's right. Girls rule. Yes. Okay. Okay. I went shopping again. Okay. At KTA, yeah, of yeah. course. Because they're in Japanese store, you know that? Yeah, yeah, we, we try to care of Van Oriental Yeah, stuff. I noticed that. that yeah. I think you guys are the only one. That's why yeah, it's yeah, crazy yeah. on New Year's. But Sorry. okay, I made mochi already because it's going to take a while. This is, you know what? It's so you made them in the pot pan, right? Yeah, the pot, because yeah. we sell that in the Umiyagi shop. Yeah. It's much more easier. It's much, I'm not joking. It's so much, or else I wouldn't do this. So how you, how you make the mochi? Where, where you got the recipe? Like you, you just find the package or? I think it in the package, but all oh. I did was put mochi ko. Oh. It, I, you put a little sugar, put a pinch of salt, water, and you make it like a liquidy consistency. Uh -huh. And then you wrap it with saran wrap uh -huh. and you put it in the microwave. Oh. Right? Okay, I cut a piece out of it, right? So this is a piece of the mochi that we cooked already. Mm -hmm. Because we're gonna do it at TV, take too long. Okay, we're gonna do this, mm -hmm. make a little space. Now this, it is uh, Okinawan sweet potato. I did nah. this I did this before, but it's a lot of work, so that's why I don't so do it. So you make it from scratch? Okay, yeah. This is the Okinawan sweet potato, wow. yeah? So this is Satsuma, Japanese oh, potato. Oh, Japanese potato. Yeah, but the thing about, you know why it's such a big hit? Why? People like the potatoes because it's really high in a lot of vitamins. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay, now, <laughs> this is the Okinawan sweet potato. Oh, yeah. All I did was boil it, okay, and mm -hmm. then we smash it up. Mm. And then I made a um, vanilla, Haupia cream, okay? This is what we used to make my pies. A vanilla Haupia cream? Mm -hmm. So yeah. how do you make this? This is just Haupia from the can. Mm. You get cream cheese, mm. and then you're gonna put a little bit of milk, uh -huh. and you keep cooking it, cooking it, and you're gonna thicken it up, like with wow. the strip, or wow. you can use cornstarch, wow. okay? Oi, we put this in there. Oh, so you put this in there? Yeah, I put oh. it in there to, to kind of tone so it down. So this one go in here? Yes. We this put, right in here. That's why it's a little bit white, yeah? Yeah, yeah, And yeah. I did that because, you know what? It's too sweet. Okay, yeah, okay, the okay. sweet potato is too sweet. All I'm gonna do... I like... Okay, you try that. Okay. That's for the next one. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Alright. Mm, wow. Alright, see? So you see how that looks? Mm, okay, yeah. while you eat that, I have to give you something to go with it. Hold on. You eat that. That's the mochi. It's nice and warm. Yeah. Hey. I need the tea. Mmm. Oh, good, mm. huh? oh, the good thing about it is that uh, every when you eat fresh, it you cannot beat, nah. Oh yeah. Mm. If you make it fresh, it's always like that, yeah. And it must be so soft. Okay, is it really sweet? No. Okay, good. Here, you go wash it down with that. This is a new thing too. You know these young guys, they like tea and refreshers. Mm. This is cinnamon refresher tea. So what, you made it? Natural, yeah. Try, try, try. Nah. Yes! It's really good. And cinnamon is good for diabetes. Oh yeah, right? this yeah? is really good. Okay, I'm so glad mm. you like it. All right. Wow. Now. Nori's. Yeah. Nori's. <laughs> you see, I know how to read Japanese. I'm so glad, I'm mm. so glad. Okay, we're gonna make another oh, one. Oh, you huh? a Oh good, I'm glad you like it. And it's healthy. So, we, we didn't put uh. sugar, we put a, just a sweetener. Little okay now we're gonna try something. This is a new invention. So um Derek is my guinea pig. Okay. Yeah? You always practice on me. Yeah, I do. You know what? Because you you you're a good yeah. eater. That's yeah. one thing I gotta say. You're a good eater, yeah. so we're good. Okay, we're gonna put one, I cut it thin. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this is azuki beans. Oh wow. <laughs> Yeah. I know that thing will be good. Okay, cause oh. yeah, you like azuki. Yeah? I like azuki. Okay, and this is the gooder one, you know. And then, I got oh, this yeah. from Kiki. Oh, you bought an expensive one. I oh. know. Yeah, but you yeah, might as well. Cheap kind. Yeah. No, but you know what? It comes in the beans, yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. that was a good thing. All right, so we're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna, you know, because this bleeds a lot. Yeah. Let me put another one. Okay? Oh wow. That's why I cut it thin. Wow. Okay. 
this is risky business because wow. you don't know if it comes out or not. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I ain't making this. This is too much work. Wait uh, okay. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. It's smart if you make mochi. No. Okay. Bon, bon appetit. Yes. Does it, does it go mm. together? Mmm. All right. It's so perfect. Have the sweet, have the texture. Okay. You have everything. All right. I'm so glad to hear that. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Very good. That was an invention. Mm. And it doesn't look too bad, yeah? But it no. is kind of messy. No, you know what? Too fresh, yeah, that's why. Even if you get false seeds, you can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Fresh tea, fresh, mm. uh, not fresh, false tea. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Now we got mm. one more. Mm. I'm good. This is risky. This is another invention. I don't mm. know. I don't know how. Yeah. I was on a roll. Okay. Mm. I was on a roll. Okay. Ooh. Looks now. chocolate there. Yes. Did you ever see a chocolate mochi? No. No. That's why we're gonna see how this tastes. And you're the perfect person to find out. Okay. okay. And your your pain is long. Yeah. 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 Chocolate. Yeah. We're known for the chocolate yeah. mochi. But I wanted to try it because you know what? If I was doing all this, I thought, okay, we're gonna try this out. Oh wow! You can put oh. That's right. So wow. What is better than chocolate? Yeah. More chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, wait. Now this is wow. leaking. I don't want it to leak. But look nice, yeah. It looks nice. I never saw on chocolate too much. Oh, so you know, I can tell. You know, when I bite it, it's like gonna be moist. Yep. Bro. Yeah. Oh, you, you, uh, you got them. Yes. There you go. I, yeah. I was happy with Look this. Look at this, yeah. Mm. Let me see inside. Oh! Oh, oh no! Yeah. Very good. Mm. And at least it holds. So good. I'm so glad. You know, better than candy and stuff in here. You know why? It's not as sweet. It's like perfect. Right. And it's gluten free. Mmm. Right? Oh, is that right? Yeah. Mm. Once you go rice, it's gluten free. So oh. all I did was I, I chopped up chocolate. Wow. And I have chocolate powder. Mm. And I put it all together. No sugar. No. Oh, no sugar. Man. Yeah. That's really good. Oh yeah. man. Yes. Mm. We did it. Did you know, mochi is so important, eh? Because mm. you know, it's like I go give her philosophical thing. Okay. Good. It's, good. It's, good it's, it's like a a, a million grain of rice or thousands of grain of rice. When you pound them together, it sticks together and binds together like a family. Right. That's why it's good luck. Yeah, that's why it's good luck. It sticks mm. together, bound together as a family. A grain of rice is just like Beth. We all need to do our part to make Hawaii Island this awesome place. You know, Beth, you know you, you go all over, you do all kinds of stuff for all kinds of mm. places. And I always see you here and there. And, oh man, I tell you what, where That's you get all your energy from the cinnamon, cinnamon tea. tea. Awesome. Oh, oh my god. Very good. Yeah, but, but thank you for good. really being part of the community yeah, too. No, we appreciate it. That's how it goes, right? Do. This is part of business. That's so. right. Oh boy. A lot of stuff we gotta do. Okay. All right. Hey, anything else? No, and then okay. we get ready with oh, okay. Mary Monica. We have Mary oh, yeah. Monica coming up, so everybody's wait, wait, getting ready. Yeah, Mary Monica. April. April. Right? April. Starts on Easter. Oh, okay. That's a good way to remember. You know you, you have so many things going yeah. on. You just oh. gotta remember Easter is Mary Mana. And you know what, the Mary Monica, I always remind, remind everyone in Hilo. You gotta be patient and everything. You know, people come from all over the world, come yeah. to this beautiful island. We gotta show them what Aloha is. That's right. right? That's and why they come back. That's right? why they come back. Yeah. yeah. You know what, Mary Monica brings everybody together. Yeah. So yeah, and we gotta keep them coming back. That's an awesome it's, situation. Yeah, it's yeah. good for Hilo. It's yeah, good, good for Hilo. Yes. Okay, with that, happy girls day, Beth, right? Happy girls day. Yeah, happy girls day to you, young Thank girl, you. you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Japan National Tourist Organization, Japan Airlines, and HIS Travel Agency sponsored and invited me to a talk story session in Kona. The session was to promote Japan, Japan Airlines Daily, direct flight to Narita from Kona Airport. Man, I'm so excited here, man. I got the lady here, Yoko. Yoko is from Japan National Tourism Organization. So, Yoko, what's your organization about? Yes, uh, we're the government tourist office. Uh, we are here to promote Japan. Oh, wow. You know, Japan is such a wonderful place. I try to go there every year. Because oh, it's clean, you. it's yes. safe, it's beautiful. And you know what? It's so different for the United States because the people are so, so really, really friendly and helpful and nice. Thank so, come on, tell me why, why Japan? There's just so many reasons. 
we wanted to come to visit us. Japan has a long history and wonderful tradition, but also the new cultures, well mixed, new and old. And you know, the West and East, we adopted lots of Western cultures, but we keep our long history. It's a well brand and it was wonderful, so we wanted to come to see us. Okay, so you got a website, people can go on your website, they yes. can check it all out. And you know what? Mm -hmm. Go Japan today, right, Yoko? Yes. And we have a direct flight from uh, on J Japan Airlines mm -hmm. from Kona Airport yes. all the way to Narita. Daily flight. Daily flight and beautiful flight. Okay, you know what? Yoko, let's see how to make the shaka. You can make shaka. Yes, ha, <laughs> okay, awesome. And we have Hi. the man here, the vice president here, Mr. Kuroda of Japan Airlines. He's in charge of the Hawaii operation. So, Kuroda san. Hi. Japan yeah. Airlines, Ichiban, yeah? <laughs> yes, uh, we, we, uh, we, we do our best to uh, offer uh, best service to I customers. know, yes. the yeah. service is really, really good. And again, thank you for all you do for our community. You know, you guys, Japan Airlines, you folks bring in a lot of tourists to our island. You know, you have the marathon. Yeah. And I remember I had a fundraiser in Japan. You folks helped me. You know, in Japan Airlines, you guys are really part of the community. So I want to say thank you so very much. Yeah, your, your community helped us very much. So, <laughs> so we, we could operate our daily flight. Yeah. Oh, too. Yeah, you have a daily flight out of corner yeah. now, right? Yes. Oh, that's so, so wonderful. But you know, Japan Airlines has really been part of the community. You guys give a lot back to the community. But you know what? The service is really, really unbelievably good. Thanks so much. And the food too. Yeah, thanks so <laughs> yeah. much. We do our best. Yeah. You do our best. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Kuroda san. I like to see you make the shaka. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, thank you. So much. Man, it's such an unbelievable <laughs> evening we had here. We have the two corner manager here. Yeah. So you in charge of our main Namaiwa. My name is Hitoshi, maintenance manager. Maintenance manager. Yeah. Hey, you know, Japan Airlines, the plane is always clean, 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 clean. Yes, yes. And very comfortable. And very, very safe. That yes. gonna be anything but Japan, it's very safe. And here's our manager. Hi, uh, my name is Keita. Nice to meet you. I'm operation manager. Operation manager. You see both of them um, um, down in the corner airport, right? Yeah. Yes. What do you guys have? Daily flight. In a flight every day. Yes, every yes day. that's right. Wow! So every day you guys have a flight every day. Yes, every day. Okay, so you know what? All of you, you guys should fly out of the corner airport because we have these two good-looking Japanese men. <laughs> yes, yeah? yes. Please come to the airport anytime. Okay. Okay, give the shaka. Let's give the shaka. Yeah. yeah. Japan Airlines is the best airlines of all, yeah. right there. And I'm with Watanabe san Hi! Hey. He's a neighbor island manager for HIS. What, yes. Watanabe san tell Hi. me about HIS. You guys are a travel agent, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You have about 60 different branches all over the world or yeah. something, yeah? Yes. Okay, so like, you know, you're down here in, in Kona in the King Kamehameha Hotel. Yes. Wow. So, you know, um, tell me about your office here in the neighbor islands. In, 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 in Kona. You for sell rail pass? Oh yes, starting the JR passes we are selling right now. So wow, so we are, I don't have to go Honolulu anymore. Yeah, no, this is only King Kamehameha Hotel uh, in our branch. Oh, is that right? Yes. Huh? Yeah. Wow, so so if somebody wants to travel to Japan, oh. they, they can come and see you? Yes, uh, we are helping the, our Honolulu branch in oh. the airline and the hotel. Oh. But this time only right now, JR passes. Oh, JR yeah. passes. Yes. So, but you know, you have brochures and stuff that, you know. Oh, yes. If yes. anybody in they want to go to Japan, they, yeah. they can come to you and yes. you have all these brochures and you can take Yeah, we actually say yes. Oh. <laughs> so then, what a song. Japan is a beautiful place. Yes. Very clean. Yes. Yeah. And everything else. Yeah. But why don't we tell everybody out there, you know, hey, travel to Japan. It's a yes. fantastic Please. vacation. Yeah, relax, yes. Relaxing. Yeah, relaxing. Oh, right, yeah. Look at you. You like onsen and sake, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Sake, yeah. <laughs> 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 
But anyway, uh, yeah. what the Rami Sang, uh, thank you very much for, for coming down to um, uh, King Kamehameha Hotel, opening yes. an office here. And thank you very much for um, sell, being able to sell a real pass because yeah. we don't have to go Honolulu. Yes, only this place. Only this place. Yes. Okay, what's the name? Thank you. Thank you. What is your name? My name is Tawako. Tawako? Hi, Keiko. Keiko. Caroline. Caroline. Okay. Come to Japan. What airline? Japan Airlines. Big shaka. Yay! It's back. Kiwanis Club of East Hawaii Miso Soup Breakfast. Saturday. March 21st at the Waikia High School Cafeteria between 7 and 10 a.m. For only $10, we'll include miso soup, rice, scrambled eggs, sausage, and a fresh fruit. There's even a bingo game while eating. Purchase tickets from any Kiwanis member or their youth group member or pay at the door. Proceeds benefits children in our community and Student Service Group Circle K, Waikia and Hilo High Key Club, Hilo and Waikia Intermediate Builder Club, and EBD Silva and Waikia Elementary K Kids. Help our youth, help our community. Support Isa Waikiwani's Miso Soup Breakfast. I grew up surrounded by sugar cane. Today, Sugarland is replaced with trees, shrubs, which I understand is good to keep our air clean and the roots prevent erosion and keep our soil rich with nutrients. I went to the College of Agriculture, Forestry and Natural Resource Management to learn about agriculture and biofuel and biomass energy. Dr. Matthew came up here to the University of Hawaii because I have a question for you. You know, you're, you're, you're the dean of agriculture. You know, how important agriculture is? Oh, you know, I mean, agriculture is absolutely essential for food, feed, fiber, energy, all those different areas. And there's so much more opportunities for agriculture here in Hawaii as we, we've, we're in a period of transition. But we, we all know we want to have more food produced here, more local energy produced here. And one thing that's really influenced me a lot is, is, is reading about like the Satoyama principles in Japan where they've studied about more about self-sufficiency when we're importing so much food and energy that you know we, we should be using more of our own local resources and try to facilitate sustainable agriculture here but that the technologies to do it is something we have to work on a lot of times people think oh biofuels is going to be rough on the land take food out of food crop land out of production use up too much water etc but there's there's new technologies and, and and strategies to minimize those impacts and Matt, Peter Matlock says to us it's like the way our granddaddies grew sugarcane uh, isn't how like they would grow sugarcane in the future that they've developed whole new ways to do it in environmentally friendly manners and that's true for a lot of tropical crops and how we can adapt those strategies here for growing our own food fuel and, and fibers. I got the man here Dr. Maddox uh, you know I understand you are the um, expert in biomass biofuel uh, renewable energy you know, there's so much trees around here. You know, there's so much eucalyptus trees. There's like Albizia invasive species. Is is trees agriculture? Is forest Absol agriculture? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, there's a long-standing history of of forestry as part of agriculture. It is a crop, right? But absolutely, it is a crop, and uh, we should we should consider it as part of an integrated solution to wow. providing future fuels. There's a lot of carbon. Yes. And agriculture. Yes. I mean, carbon is what makes all of us. Yes. And carbon is also what we find in our fuels and, and, right. and our plastics. Right. That's the, energy, right? That's yeah. right. And and so we built a thriving economy on carbon that we are pulling out of the ground wow. that was deposited millions of years ago. Wow. And those are fossil fuels. Right. It's right. oil. It's, right. it's coal. Right. And it's been very useful, but it comes with a cost. Right, and that right. cost is that our, our, you know, ultimately once it's used, it becomes CO2, the CO2 right, levels are right. rising, and we are seeing effects of that. And we can do something about that if we say, wait a minute, if, if instead of pulling that carbon out from underneath the ground, yes. right, in the form of fossil yes. fuels, yes. if we can capture the carbon that's already all around us uh -huh. in our atmosphere uh -huh. and the ground, um, and combine it with sunlight, which mm -hmm. is free, mm -hmm. We can capture that carbon and then turn it into, again, those fuels, plastics and everything. Oh. 
So the answer is trees are very important, right? right? Whether you grow them for a specific purpose or whether you're culling them to, you know, reduce disease or eliminate potential fire hazards or you know, make room for native species. And what, does it keep the air clean? Yeah, um, all, you know, all trees do absorb carbon dioxide, all plants, because they, they, the way they survive is they take sunlight, carbon dioxide, and then they turn that into, uh, along with nutrients from the soil, into, you know, plant material. So what about the roots? How important is the roots? Roots are very important because deep root systems, that sequesters carbon in the soil. Right, so if you think about biofuels, their major advantage is they're recycling the carbon that's already in our atmosphere, and so we're no longer pulling it out of the ground. Okay, that's good, because we're not making yes. the, the carbon yeah. worse, right. or the carbon dioxide right. in the atmosphere worse. What you really want to do, though, is start drawing it down, because yes. we're at levels we haven't seen in yeah. almost a million years. Um, and one of the ways to do that is through this deep root sequestration. Wow. All right, and that's a viable, cheap way to do it. All right, and so roots, roots matter. So all the trees out there, I understand they're, they're going to use it for biomass. So what they're planning to do is they, um, they're going to try to harvest every six to seven years mm -hmm. and keep the roots down in mm -hmm. the ground and right. plant in between those trees right. and, and keep the yeah, roots. Yeah, and they're up. not going to be plowing. I guess for yeah. erosion and all that. Yeah. And yeah. These are all like eucalyptus trees. Like, mm -hmm. you, you think it would make good biomass? Uh, as I said, the trees can make excellent biomass, so the answer so is yes. Because actually, in the yes. trees, it captures all of the, the energy and yep. it turns yep. the wood energy. Yeah. That's why they told me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's a good way. Look, look I am not a eucalyptus agronomist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But generally, when you can keep regrowing your crop, yes. keeping the root structure in the ground, yeah. you don't have to go in and plow every yeah, year, yeah. every X years, yeah. that's really good. Right, because you're sequestering carbon and you're not releasing more by running a heavy truck through uh -huh. there and ripping up the soil. And the one thing again I want to say is, if you look at the technologies that are coming to bear in agriculture, mm -hmm. there's tremendous investment in whole new approaches um, to, to basically raising better crops yes. and raising them in a better way yes. and to utilizing them better. Uh -huh. So we're really at the front edge of, I think, of an explosion of new opportunities. Wow. Well, so it's an exciting time. Oh, I got a headache. Okay, <laughs> thank you very much thank for very all much. I learned. Hey, all right. thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, man, I'm so excited. I'm at Matos. I'm at Matos Piggy, man. It's like an amazing, amazing place. And we got... Angela. Alexander. Caitlin. Clayton. Wow, man, you know, these guys are amazing. I came up to the pig over here because at KTA, we are now buying local park, and it comes here from Matos Pigri. And man, this place is so clean, so exciting. All the pigs going crazy. They think I'm going to eat them with it. <laughs> what do you think, Angela? Huh? Huh? Yes. Huh? Are you starting this pig? Yeah, yeah. I was a Kamana before. Oh. I'm a Kamana boy and raised up there. Oh, is that right? I wanted to get into the farm zone. Ah. Then I thought this area was supposed to be a farm zone. Wow. So, and that's how I got started. Oh. Hey, Clayton, you taking over? Yes, taking over. Ah. So after you, what's going to happen? Well, it's up to, well, like I said, my son is working overtime, so he cannot be here, but yeah. it's, up to, it's up to him and her what they decide. And you know, you know your, 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 your wife, Angela, she works at KTA. This bugger one, tough one. I was wondering, how come this girl is so strong? <laughs> and now, at least I know. Yeah. yeah. So, so, you know, to have a pigry like this, like, you know, I notice I see folks at Sedexo University with a truck. I see this girl just carrying the rubbish can, the uh, slop can. And I always tell her, hey, I will come and help you. I never showed never up. Never showed up. I never <laughs> showed up. Never showed up. Been waiting two years. But now I get the shirt. I can go over here. Right? I'll right? be waiting. Okay, I'll go with you. So, so Angela, man, you work hard, but you get work at KTA. You come here. So what do you guys do after work? I go home. Ah. First, I clean house, cook ah. dinner, then around 4.30, then I come down here with my husband. You see, she's a, she's a real Portuguese, she clean house first. <laughs> 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 hey, I, go, I look at your home and you know, yeah, everything is clean, it's like somebody had painted, everything is perfect. Huh? Uh, real Portuguese. Learn from my mom. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mr. Matos. Yeah. Man, you're the founder of this whole thing. Are you proud that your children taking over? Very, very, very proud. Children taking over. At least somebody's following me. Yeah. yeah. All these 
beef or not. Yeah. This way there. Following up and follow my footsteps. Yeah. So, then, yeah, what made you start a bakery? Well, I don't know. All my life we farmers, you know. Oh. Cattle, you need area. Yeah. Pigs, you need. You don't need area. Yeah. But place like this yeah. can get you by so many, you know, farming. So that's what got me going then. So, so you guys are all farmers, the Bantos families. Yeah. So your grandfather came from Portugal, yeah. right? Right. Then your father, father was a local, boy. local boy. Yeah. Oh, so what do you guys used to raise before being farmers? What, what do you guys used to raise? Cattle, cattle. Okay, okay. You see, I know. Portuguese, they get plenty of land. No, you guys are all farmers. <laughs> But you guys are so way ahead now, guys. See all this beautiful property over here. Yeah? Share that piece of mottos there. Tell me, like, you know, when, when, when you started this farm here, yeah. hard work, yeah? We're very hard. I started from scratch. Yeah. There was nothing here. There was a lava, lava flow, ah. crushed the land. Then, well, I got I experience in machinery and all that, so I got involved. So slowly, you know, start building one piece at a time. I built all this myself. Wow. My son, uh, well, he was in Kapate at that time. Ah. I made foundation. So we was pretty much a construction site, cement. Wow. You know, so, one, thing, one thing about Portuguese, they are jack of all trades. You guys do <laughs> yes, everything. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what? You were that kind of Buta Kauka. I remember growing up in Hakalau. They put the Kau Kau man to come and bring, pick up the slop in my house. You guys started like that? That's how they Very started. Very soon. But you know what is real amazing? Because you know for me, like I remember the Buta Kau Kau man said, do not throw ginger inside a slop. Yeah. Is that right? Yes, Why? Up to this very day, we have the same trouble. Oh. That, that can kill one pig instantly. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. So hey, everybody, yeah. don't throw ginger inside a pig yeah. slop. Yeah. The, not... more, the bigger the piece, the more the pig gets. They get all like hives on the body. Nah. Yeah. And they don't eat for a couple of days. Wow, I was thinking, how come the... No, no, it, it's a big yeah. factor on that. Hey, so Andrew, your daughter, what? how old are you already? Are you... 20. What? I used to see you like a small kid over there. I used to give me that shock <laughs> and all that. You're 20 years old already? Yep. Oh my goodness. So, so what? You, you come and help your mom and grandpa and your dad? Yeah. Yeah, so what do you do? First thing in the morning, and then I go to my job, and then if I what, finish what work... What do you mean? In the morning, what do you do yeah, in the morning? Me and her, first thing yep. in the morning, the 5.30, we're down here feeding the pigs. Yep. Yeah, I guess the pigs gotta eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like us, we feed them twice a day. Yeah. So uh, we usually, 5.30 in the morning before I go work, we come down, we feed them. Wow. Yeah. Then we twice go, a day is every day, so yeah. 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 Then we go to our regular job. Yeah. I mean, I, she works for a rod and company that... Yeah, you know, yeah. That. I work for the county, we do our regular job. Then after work, we come back home and do the, the other half. Oh my goodness! And what? Some days, are you you cold that you still get up and yeah, man, huh? good. Yeah. <laughs> but I still come down. Wow, you too so good, yo. You know, not too many uh, young ones are, are like her. Yeah, that is true. You know, and you know, this is what you today. They gotta learn, right? They gotta learn discipline. They gotta learn responsibility. And I think you learn all that working in this farm. Yeah. So tell me about being a farmer. A pig farmer. I but love it. It's fun. You love it, yeah? And when you give the name names to the pig. No. <laughs> Never name the pig. No. 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 Wait, he named one of them Big Red. He's in the first ten yeah. over. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah. Big Red. What you name it? That's hard, yeah, yeah. Really. yeah. They're not that good. Then he so. comes back. <laughs> yeah, he comes up there. So, Katie, tell me all about this. I mean, it's like. Wonderful thing, your dad, you got your kids like involved. And you get one son too, right? Yes. yes. Uh, I say too bad he wasn't here. Yeah, me. yeah, yeah. So tell me, I mean, you know what? It's, it's really tough, right? But you guys hogs are so so nice. Comes to our market, the back fat is like perfect. The animal is perfect. Perfect size and everything else. Man, you guys just get everything done. I guess it's genetics too, yeah. right? Uh, it took years, you know. You got, you got something taken. I thought pigs go oink oink, but you think they make a sound, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought they go oink oink oink, but they go oink. They get screamed, they get screamed. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. From baby to, to a size that you can take to market, how long does it take? We take about what, four and a half, five months. Four and a half, five months. Okay, it's so like, like when, when, when the sounds are pregnant. How long does it take for it to give birth? Like, yeah, kill me, nine months. No, no, 115 days. Oh, 115 days. The easiest calibration is three weeks, three months, three days. Oh. That's the old style of 
figuring it out. I, I, I imagine the old piggery that, you know, it stink, it smelly, it gets flies. But this is like raised by Portuguese. It's all clean. <laughs> no, it's like clean house. I told you it was clean. <laughs> I, I cannot imagine. There's no flies. How do they smell? And seven days a week we wash down every day. Oh, every day. Smoke. In my style, if the pig is white, he can turn white. Yeah. I'm not gonna leave him brown. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna see one piece of brown on yeah. it. Yeah. It makes it white again. Oh, good, man. You know, that's what they say. You know, Sunday, hey, you, see, you eat like a pig. I'll say, yeah, I eat like mato for you. <laughs> yeah. Very clean and neat and everything else. I'm gonna tell, yeah. Make fun of me, I eat like a pig. I eat like mato. <laughs> what is this fire doing over here? Come see. Cooking slob. What? We're cooking slob for oh, the pig. Oh, is pigs. that right? Yes. Oh. Hey, what? You get a special recipe? No. Potty <laughs> <laughs> bean soup, my husband said. Oh, potty <laughs> bean soup. Oh, my goodness. Hey, you know what? Yeah, it kind of smells good. <laughs> oh, you want a bowl? <laughs> Why does it make me hungry? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys, you guys haul the slop, and, and I see you guys cook the slop. There's regulation. Yes, the, the federal government says you can't pick the slab up from the restaurant and feed it to the pigs. You have to cook it and up to uh, 208 degrees. Then from there, you can feed it to the pigs after that. You, wow. You cannot feed it raw. Wow, so everything gotta be cooked. Everything gotta be cooked. Okay, Mr. Mato, you're the expert. Why should we buy local pork? Why? Yeah. Give local guys a chance to make a living. Okay, and then what about the taste? The taste, guarantee good taste. Guarantee good taste. Good taste. Yeah. Okay, so any last words, Clayton? No, I mean, I hope the people that buy our pork enjoying it, you know. It's like I said, we try to put the best on the table, so. Do you like good pork or sit and good chip? Okay, you got sit and good chip. Yes, well, thank you, PTA, for buying our pork. Yes. No, but I want to thank you guys so very much. You know, I'm, I'm here, not just to see your favorite, but I'm here to actually tell. Thank you very much. Because, you know, to me, pork is such an important, important animal, important protein. Because you know what? You know, you folks grab all the, the leftover cabbage and everything else, and eat it, and it comes to meat, and we eat it. And you know, so it's, it's, it's like talking about sustainable, and, and well, then we'll, we'll, we'll put all our garbage, yes, right? Yes, true. It's gonna be the turn all in the streets and all. We'll have all kinds of other problems. So, you know, everybody should support the local hog industry because that's that's really, uh, it's very sustainable and it's very healthy for you. Yes. Especially, especially Mato's part. <laughs> <laughs> now I got this shirt, man. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna fix get slop with your folks, okay? Okay, I'll hold you to it there. And, and I'll see you in a crunchy in my arm on that one. Okay, but you know what? I'm gonna embarrass going with these two girls because they're stronger than me. Okay, from the Matos family, hey, eat local pork, eat pork from KTA, and let's give everybody a big shaka! Awesome. Hey. I am so excited. I'm at this unbelievable place. I'm at Hamakua Joro Mission. It's an unreal ace. This is like a treasure. And I, I found I found this girl here, Sandy. Sandy Takahashi. And maybe you can tell me about the Joro Mission. Well, my family's been a member of this church for over a hundred years, you know, over the generations. I'm trying to revitalize interest in our temple. As you can see, this is the oldest um, Buddhist temple in the state of Hawaii. So I'm trying to get the word out, have our story be told, and generate some interest by having volunteers, new members, people to come help us out and get the community involved. You know, Sandy, as soon as I stepped onto this ground here, you know, it just gave me a whole new different feeling. I feel so peaceful. I feel so, so really, really connected, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and and it connects me to the plantation, you know, yeah. and I, I, all these memories started to come to me. And I, I, and I walked in the back and I saw a whole bunch of graves there. So tell me about the graveyard. Uh, the graveyard is also one of the oldest in the state of Hawaii. Uh -huh. It has like about over 400 graves. Uh -huh. A lot of them belong to immigrants. Uh -huh. And um, our, I see Katsugoto's grave yeah. and all that. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Goto's grave is buried behind there. A lot of people don't realize that he is um, his final resting space is here at Hamakua Jodo. There's a little monument in Honoka'a town near the library. But often people hear about him, but 
they don't make the connection that um, he has ties to our um, temple as well. And you know this temple, I can tell it's so old. I look at the architecture and everything mm -hmm. else. Hey, you know what? I, I don't see nails. Oh, no. It was uh, built primarily under the, um, I guess, the supervision of a Japanese immigrant. His name was uh, Umekichi Tanaka. Ah. He, he was um, obviously born in Japan. Ah. His father built shrines and temples, ah. Ah. so he learned that craft from his father. Ah. So when he took undertook this ah. construction, he used that old Japanese system wow. of architecture. Wow. So there's absolutely no nails. Wow, and you know what? You know? This place is unreal. You know, it's really beautiful mm -hmm. landscape. The trees are all well groomed mm -hmm. and trimmed. The graveyard back there is super clean. Mm -hmm. I mean, and well, you you know, how big is your congregation? Yeah. Um, well, yeah, well as, as far as active members go, we have about five active ones. Ah. However, we do have a congregation size of about 30 um, in our membership. Okay, so and, who, take, who takes here all of these beautiful... Uh, it's all Brown due to the up. man sitting on the stairs in the back there. His name is Masa Nishimori. Hey, you know, I gotta talk uh -huh. to Masa Nishimori. Oh, yeah. Huh? He's 86 years young and nah. he takes care of everything here from the maintenance, landscaping, cleaning the temple. So he's the guy to talk to. Okay. Oh, man, you know, I'm so excited, man. I met this guy, Masa. You know, Masa reminds me of the old plantation worker and I mean... It's like all my father and everybody else that all pass and, and we have Masa here that, you know, he kind of like takes care of his whole ground and I cannot believe. Hey Masa, how old are you? I'm 86 years old. you 86? Yeah. Oh! I just, I just made January. Where where you find all the energy to do all of this stuff? Well, you figure I work on a couple of hours and ah. I recuper recuper recuperate ah. the rest of the time, see? <laughs> So <laughs> I can see you like to eat too, yeah. right? And yeah. so, 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 Masa, I cannot believe you're over 400 graves. Some yeah. of them are unidentified, yeah. right? With stones and. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, immigrants, I think. Oh. I presume they're immigrants because only just a stone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. A lot of these graves are neglected. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if the young, younger generation, they know that they have. Up there. You know, you know what is real amazing about this uh, that graveyard there. You know, um, I, I I see there's a lot of maintenance and you know hard work and everything that's put into it. And you know, I think a lot of them over there they're so happy that you know you go and visit them almost every day, and clean the place and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then get somebody go there and, and, and check on them. And I see a, a grave down there again, yeah, a long stove with different tombstones on it. Where we have all that. Came from oh, yeah, yeah. from Kukaya. Oh, Kukaya. Ah, ah, two, yes. Ah, bunch of ah. Ah. had this girl who was raised over here, ah. Yoshiko ah. Ekua. Ah, she told me at one time I met her in Hilo. Ah. She said she remembered that was in ah. early 50s ah. Ah. when ah. she was growing up. So, how long you belong to this church here? I mean, are, all my uh, life, your whole life. Yeah, yeah. you one of the few remaining real plantation man yeah. and you know sitting down here it makes me so feel so good right on this church ground talk to somebody like you so what motivates you to come and do all this yard and clean all the church uh, and do everything by yourself at 86 years old what motivates you my ancestors oh your ancestors and my, the immigrants oh i think about them you know something Man, you just touched my heart there, because you know, it's so, so important, yeah. yeah. Where we came from, all the sacrifices they made. Yeah, that's yeah. right. We, uh, Japanese call it, uh, arigatai. Arigatai, they call Thank it. Thank you. Wow. And you know, I see this young girl, Sandy, she, I, I just met her. She she, she came here to, um, um, came back because, um, you know, she had that sense of ancestors. Yeah. And she lived by you too, I understand. Yeah. One the one next. Yeah. And we're very grateful. The church, I am myself. Uh. I am very grateful she came back here. Yeah. Because you know, and I know, we the old. Fuck. Yeah, we the old. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. So, so, well, what's cool? You know, and I, I always worry too, like, you know, what's going to happen when we're gone, right? You're right? Yeah. That's what I tell her. Yeah. That's what I tell her. When I pass away, I'll be sitting here. Yeah. 
えゲットメンバーズインディスチューチすごい顔しいもえっと周期なかったでボクヘンディケップでトーミーえワナイスグハブサイスペハブサイライトノーイビオネイブヘッパパンウィルカムヘム I appreciate that,、oh. but I tell them, no, thank you very much.、Yeah. But if anything happened to you,、yeah. I don't want to be,、yeah. you know. You know, you know these, 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 these grounds here, you know, it's so sacred, it's so special. You know,、um, when people come here, you're going to live here really with a sense of unity, the old plantation feeling of the importance of family being together, getting together, helping each other. You know, and, and, and doing things not because you have to, because you want to. And you know, that's what you're about. Masa, that's what you're about. You know, yeah, because you, you don't have to, but you just want to. It's the first time I've been on this ground, and、um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be coming back. And, yeah, anytime. And, you know, and, you get, and because this is so special. And, and if you see fruit, help yourself. <laughs> what do you like? But not for sale, you know. But Masa. Thank you very much for、You're、all what you do.、Anytime. And you know what? It's, it's such a pleasure、um, talking to you because, you know,、no. as I say, you're one of the old plantation men that's, that's left here and,、no. and kind of understand everything that's going on. Okay, Sandy, any last words? Well, I'd like to thank、um, Derek for coming over and checking out our beautiful temple. And I hope that the viewers out there will come stop by and maybe chat with Maso when he's here、yes. and learn a little more about the history of our church. And, you know, come take a look and、um, enjoy the serenity. And I think you'll be amazed. And you know what? You know, after I、um, went through this whole process and checked out the church, I just want. All of you out there to know that you know、um, donations will definitely be accepted, you know,、um, because you know, this a beautiful place like this has to be sustainable, it has to stay alive. And also, you guys want to volunteer to help the poor, hard working man, Masa. Yeah, he, he, he's very humble, he won't ask for、I、any、know. help, so please.、Um, You know, give the kupuna、yeah. break and anyway, just email Sandy、mm -hmm. and、uh, she'll、Come、definitely get a hold、mm -hmm. and, and can arrange an excursion.、Mm -hmm. uh, you get donations, just give them to Sandy.、Uh, she, she's the lady that's the next generation taking over this place. <laughs> thank you very much, All right, Sandy. Thank you. As you drive down Kanoe Lehua Avenue at the intersection at Lani Kaula, you notice a reddish building. It is Leong Chop Sui House. It's March. It's time we go all over the island looking for great places to eat. And we found one. Welcome to Senior Grind. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm here at Leong. The place is so busy. I have so many people at 2 30 in the afternoon. I came here in the morning. Oh, everybody's coming over here to eat. So the food is、mm, good, 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 good. <laughs> Hey, so Mrs. Wong, the、Hi. owner.、Yeah. So, Mrs. Wong, when you guys open over here, how long? Over 45 years. 45 years?、Yeah. You look like 40 yourself. Oh, thank you. Gee whiz. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Young looking you. girl.、Thank、oh, you. man. You know, the food is really good here. You know, I always come over here and, and take、you. out. You get take out, you can eat there.、Yeah. You make party platters, right? You get、yeah. party, you get party、yeah. pans,、mm -hmm. right? Yes.、Yeah. Oh. And you can special order. You can order from the buffet line or、yeah. you can order from the back kitchen. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to taste it. What is this? Lotpok. Chinese. Oh, look、lotpok. at that.、Crunchy. The screen's、yeah. so crispy. Yeah, crunchy skin. Oh. Mmm. 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 Good. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What's this? Steamboat Chinese. Kao Yu. Kao Yu. Kao Yu. Kao Yu. Mm, thank you, my friend. Oh, it's so tender. You took a long time, yeah? The、oh, thing. Yeah. The thing just melted in my mouth. Now, what is this? Sweet and sour pot. Oh, sweet and sour pot. Yeah.、Huh. No more bone, this one. Oh, it's bone. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's so warm. Wow. Thank you. Oh. It's pickle. The pickle will be in there. Yes. Ah! 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 Mmm! And there, what's this? Okay, barbecue chashu. Barbecue chashu? Yeah. You make everything over here, yeah? Mmm, 
Mommy here, my husband make it. So, you know, your husband's cooking all this over here. Mm -hmm. How do you learn how to cook? A real Chinese style, yeah, because, huh? Because my husband Chinese and my oh. son too. <laughs> your husband and Chinese? Yeah, and my, and my son too, cooking too. My son. Oh, is that right? It's your son there. Yeah, it's the cool. young understand. My son and oh, my husband. Oh, too good. And then some employees. Yeah, they, you know your employees, they work really hard and they're too yeah, good. Yeah, I know. Now, what's this? This is uh, orange chicken. Orange chicken? Yeah. Oh! Is it good too? <laughs> oh! It's so good taste. Oh. Thank you. Thank Man. You. Huh. Oh. This is warm. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, what is this? The eggplant. Oh, the you know what? That's my here. favorite. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, many people like. Mm. Yeah, and I mm. get, today I get bitter melon later I come home. <laughs> Man. Oh. Oh, it's so, so good. Yeah, so good. Thank you. Yeah. My wife, she's her favorite. Yeah, she's our spare rib. Bits our spare rib. Yeah, just get the bone. Bone it. Mmm! 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 You gotta get good delivery here too. Right? Automatically pick up all yeah, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. They come pick up yeah. and pick you up deliver. The, uh, yeah, for the party. Mmm! For the one tray, one tray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mmm! <laughs> Thank you. Mmm! 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 Oh. Look at your Chinese food. It's so, so good. Thank I can you. see why it's so busy over here. Uh, thank you. Huh? Thank you. Huh? The customer coming too. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> ah. Ah. Mm -hmm. huh? Need some water? No, yeah, I can drink this. Oh, Chinese, Chinese tea. Good. Chinese tea. Mm. Good for the health. Sure. Huh? Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh, boy, everything's so good. Yeah, you, you know how we really good sleep, yeah? <laughs> so, so, yeah. No, Everybody, no. you make plenty of doctor tea back mm, there, eh? Mm, mm, Everybody you. like your doc. Thank you. And I saw your doc. I go, oh, that doc fat and oh, man, eh? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Oh, I can see why they buy your doc, eh? I saw back there, plenty fast, real meaty, right? Nothing in uh, skin. Uh, this morning, right? You see? Yeah, yeah, I see this morning. Mmm! 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 Hey, no mix for me, a quick eh? Yeah? Oh, boy, this is warm. Yeah. This is so good. Thank you. People are still coming in the door. Everybody coming in, getting the food, they're all smiling, they're all happy. Oh boy, this is a happy place. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Any last words, what do you want to tell people out there? Uh, thank you, the customer coming for the 45 years already. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, and, the business And too. she only looks 40. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I told Mr. Wong you have your son working here, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Your husband a cook, your son yeah. working here. Yeah. And I see plenty of employees here. Long time they work here. From the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. huh? Yes. Oh, so they're your relative. Omo. Huh? Omo. Uh, yeah. Omo family, yeah. yeah from, from, from way back they were, I see them over here. Oh. Yeah, you're a baby now, oh, baby. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Oh, Mom, very Mom, good. Baby, I'm very adult good. Now. Oh, yeah, they're all, they're all adult now. Adult, yeah. Adult. yeah, they were, they, they were still baby. Yeah. 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 <laughs> mm. So everybody should come on down. It's again Leon Chop Suey House. The place is so honored. They got a take out. They can order from the buffet line. They can order from the menu, right? Yeah, the party too. Yeah, okay. and you can eat there. You can take out, and the place is off. Really, really uh, good because uh, the plenty of customers too. Everybody in there are very friendly, and they get plenty of parking. Thank yeah? you. Yeah. You get plenty of parking, yeah. but more so, all of you out there, the food here is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I used to say good in Chinese. Home. Huh? Hold it. Hold it. 
Posting! The point is posting! Posting! No, 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 no! Take my phone. No, 48 is hosting, hosting. Take my phone, take my phone. Hey, guess what? I get two of the cutest <laughs> girls here in the old day. So, what do you tell everyone there? Give the big shot, give the big shot. <laughs> wow, it's March. Welcome to Behind the Camera. First of all, I want to thank all of you for making our island such a special place. A place where our seniors are role models and an inspiration for our youth. I feel so fortunate to be born and raised on Hawaii Island where our seniors taught us those special values like the importance of living together, working together, and playing together like family. To respect our elders and opinion of others regardless of who you are and what you stand for. In March, there's Girls' Day, St. Patrick's Day, and Prince Kuhio Day, which is a state holiday in Hawaii. It is also a time where the flowers and plants are blooming, blessed by the gentle Hawaiian rain. We should appreciate the natural beauty that surrounds our island. Combined with the wonderful people is what makes our island such a special place. So here's Joe Camila Mila and Luana and Chita Kaui to serenade you. Hey, guess what, man? Yeah, here's my man, Mr. Clay. He used to be my neighbor. Hey, this guy's an awesome guy. Wouldn't you tell your friends out there, whoever? <laughs> we always go to KT. Okay, awesome. Well, you're someone special every day. Every day. Okay, give the big shaka for that. Mr. Right. Clay, give the big shaka. Hey, look here, my friend. Hi, it's my okay. Friend. This is the most amazing lady. Always oh. smiling, always happy. Oh. Man, hey, what do you want to tell everyone out there? Oh, hi there, oh. everybody. Oh. It's oh. nice to be at KTA. Okay, great. Give yeah. the big shaka, Mr. Okay. Oh. Big shaka, big shaka. Oh, yeah, so yeah. awesome. Hey, guess what, man? I got my friend over here, man. She's like the awesomest, awesomest girl. And she can speak. Speak Japanese and English. Hey, what do you tell everyone out there? Happy Girls Day. Happy Girls Day. Hinamasuri, omedetou. Okay, big shaka shaka. Yes, okay, awesome. Hey, here I am, the prettiest girl in the world. Maganda Belazan. Oh, wow. Oh. You bump too. Okay, let's give everyone a big shaka. Yes, mabuhay. Oh, salamat. Salamat. Wow, what uh, can you tell me? What uh, they is it like every not every night you are on the TV though? Oh, every night, channel one twenty nine. One twenty nine. Okay, okay, you got them. Oh yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay, mabuhay, mabuhay, yeah. Oh, nice yeah. to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, guess what, man? We see the most awesomest father and son over here, man. Hey. How's it, everybody? Okay, <laughs> tell everybody how's it, how's it? How's it, how's it? Okay, big shaka, big shaka, big shaka. Hey, guess what, man? I'm in Waikia High School, and so I cannot talk too loud because you know what? Yeah? Too loud, no good, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so, um, when we tell everyone out there, happy girls day. Oh, happy girls day. Okay, big shaka. And before, you used to use me as a lot in your mom, right? Yeah. Tell me the story. Uh, every morning when we would wake up, my mom would turn on Living in Paradise and we would hear you talking. Oh, so that was the alarm? Yeah. Okay, big shaka for that. Yes, uh, awesome. Hey, guess what? The prettiest waitress in town here. Yeah, I just want to say Happy Girls Day. What do you want to tell everyone out there? Happy Girls Day. Okay, and Happy Girls Day to you, young girl. Okay, big shaka, big shaka. Yes, uh, awesome.
Hey, guess what? Hey, my friend Anna, man. I don't see her a long time. Hey, Anna. I'm gonna tell you about all the happy girls day. And happy girls day to you, Anna. Awesome. Big shaka, big shaka, big shaka. Yes, I want. Hey, it was an awesome Super Bowl party! Come on, Big Shaka! Big Shaka, awesome Super Bowl party! Awesome, awesome, awesome! Hey, so what? The Chiefs won. Who wanted the Chiefs? Yeah. Okay, hey, what? You guys happy? Oh, yeah. Happy, 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 happy. happy. Sorry, you guys all happy, eh? Yeah? Happy. Hey, what do you tell everyone out there? Go Chiefs! Hey. Go Chiefs! White Crown XO! White yeah. Crown XO! No mix! White yeah. Crown XO! Yeah. Okay! Yeah. Everybody, big shaka! Yes! Hey, guess what? This is the most awesome family. Hey, you going to college? Yeah, where yeah. are you going to school? I'm going to go to school in Washington. Oh, wow, hey! Yo, we're gonna all miss you, right there. Yes. Hey, come on, wish her good luck. Wish her good, good luck. Good luck, girl. Good luck. Okay, big shaka, big shaka, everybody. Awesome. Hey, guess what? I get two of the cutest <laughs> girls here yeah. in the all day. Hey, so what you tell everyone there? Give the big shaka, give the big shaka. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guess what? Look at my friend, this Aganda. Hey, you're gonna be 103 years old. Hey, I, hey, 103 years old. Alexi, you know how to make the shaka. Come on. Come on, give the shaka, give the shaka, give the shaka. Give the shaka. Come on, come on, Mr. Sankata, give the shaka. Yeah, you see, yeah. Hey, guess what? I see you, my old college friend over here. Yeah? Yeah? Hey, you guys go to Japan a lot. Yeah. We love Japan. Not as much as you. Uh, Japan Airlines, but not as much. Japan, Japan, Japan Airlines. Airlines. Japan awesome. Airlines. Awesome. 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 Okay, great Kona food. Narita. Yeah, Kona Narita. You guys try it. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. give the big shaka. Awesome. Hi. Okay, you know, so your wife is a school teacher? Yes, yes. Honganji preschool. Okay, and daughter? Yeah, sell preschool. Okay. Honganji, yes. What do you tell them something? Come on, tell them. Yeah. Tell them. Happy Girls Day. Happy Girls Day is a Hiramatsuri day. Okay. Yeah. Give the wife and daughter big shaka. Yeah. <laughs> Hiramatsuri. Matsuri, yes. Hiramatsuri. Yeah. Hi. I guess what? We got two lovely ladies here from Los Angeles, right? Yeah. Thank you for coming here. They're with the uh, Japan Tourist, Tourist Organization. Fantastic. But you know, I want to say next, this month here, March 3rd is Girls Day. So I want to say Happy Girls Day to both of you. Okay, is there anything you want to say out there to all the people on, on, on this island? Please come to Japan. Please come to Japan. Yeah, please come to Japan. Awesome. Big shaka, big shaka, big shaka. Shaka, shaka, shaka. Shaka, shaka, shaka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Hey, guess what? I get the band with the plane here. What do you like to tell everyone out there? Hello, everybody. Big shaka, big shaka. Yes, I want awesome. Hey, guess what? Here's one of the most awesome ladies, my friend. Yeah, yeah. What do you like to tell everyone out there? Aloha. <laughs> Aloha, big shaka, big shaka. Big yes, I want awesome. <laughs> hey, guess what, man? I see my friend Tomoko over here. She's a... Uh, Interpreter, she can interpret all kinds of Japanese and she do weddings, right? Yeah, so if anybody needs uh, assistance or want to hire her, it's almost anything you want to say out there. So, uh, I mean, I'm located in Kilo, and, uh, but I go to Kona too, so if anyone wants um, translation service on the site, Okay, and you know, this is March, so I want to say happy girls day to you tomorrow. Yeah, thank you very much. Big shaka, big shaka. Yeah. Guess what, everyone out there, man? These are the students here at the College of Business. They're graduating, looking for a job. Hire them. <laughs> right, come on, big shaka. Hire them. Guess yeah, what, man? Yeah, he's a TV star right there. Hey, so, hey, hey. Frozen foods. Okay. You name it. Okay, give them big, big shaka, big shaka. Tell your friends and family to catch it on YouTube by logging on to ktasuperstars.com and click it on to Seniors Living in Paradise.
that's it for Behind George Yoshida's Camera. But before we go, we want to thank our volunteer cameraman, George and Shirley Ito. And thank you for watching Seniors Living in Paradise. We'll see you again tomorrow night. Aloha.